Welcome back to another nature walk. This time we're talking about another citizen science project that features an animal you're probably familiar with, squirrels. You can find squirrels all over the place, climbing trees, climbing roofs, climbing houses, chewing stuff, jumping. Project Squirrel is an effort to get an idea of what those squirrels are up to and where they live. Once you make an observation of a squirrel, you can go to the Project Squirrel website and enter in your information. You can tell them where you saw the squirrel, what dates, and what the situation is around them. Squirrels are part of our neighborhoods, they're part of our yards, and they can be found most anywhere. Usually when you're walking, you'll see a couple squirrels around and hopping around, and making observations about them is a great way to try out your STEM skills. When you report things on Project Squirrel, it asks you to look at what are the trees around there? What are the squirrels doing? Where do they eat from? How do they interact with their environment? What other animals, especially domesticated animals, live nearby? I really like this, and I also like the effort to find the different kinds of squirrels. In southern Illinois and Missouri, we have both fox squirrels, as you can see here, sort of a reddish color, but they're not as common as the other type of squirrel that you probably have seen around your roofs and bird feeders, the gray squirrel, eastern gray squirrel. So looking at these two squirrels together and seeing how their populations interact lets you look at something that you see a lot, but look at it in a new light. I really like these science, citizen science projects for that reason, and it lets you do something while you're out on a walk, while you're in your neighborhood. Just keep an eye out. You know, you don't have to go out specifically looking for squirrels. You can just sort of enjoy the outside, and while you're out there, take a look around you and see what there is.